As a landscape photographer making videos of my experiences, I need a second camera to film myself. For many years I've used a GoPro Hero 9 because it is small and light, which importantly allows me to use a simple selfie stick or monopod with feet as support rather than a tripod, which saves me a lot of time and effort when setting up as well as weight to carry. But the GoPro has a number of disadvantages, the most obvious being its low light performance. But probably the most important to me is its lack of versatility as a video camera, being restricted to only wide angles and scenes where everything is in focus. So for some time I've been considering what the best camera would be as an upgrade. What is small and light enough to stand on a selfie stick unaided, yet offers me versatility in field of view and focus, as well as improved image quality. I considered many options, but finally decided there was one camera that not only fulfilled my needs, but also fitted in really well with my existing gear. I was heading out to Hins Dam to do some photography with my drone and thought this would be the perfect opportunity to try out my new camera. Now, of course, it's gotten really windy the second I've actually got down here. There was a bit of a breeze before um, and now it's super windy. So I'm not going to be putting the drone up very high. Um, I can already see it's just sitting here at this level. It's on a bit of a bit of a lean. So uh, my uh, idea of taking my drone for a bit of a fly is uh, not going to quite go according to plan. So I'll just yeah, keep it low and see how we go. So the wind ended up being much less of a problem than the group of swallows that were around that really didn't like my drone. I ended up bringing it back quite quickly so as not to injure either the swallows or the drone. The swallows did move on and I was able to put the drone up to take some photos. I also took a bit of time to sit and enjoy the peace of this location as well as the beautiful sunset. Well, it was lucky that I had a lot of new stuff to try out today because my original intention was to come down here and do a lot of flying of my drone and try taking a lot of photos because I haven't done a lot of photography with my drone. Um, but as soon as I got down here, it was really windy and then all these birds were not happy with it. So I didn't end up flying it that much at all. But yes, I've been down here trying out my new little vlogging camera and also trying out my PGY Tech clips as well, which have been fantastic. I've had my new camera on one, GoPro on another. Uh, I did bring my zoom but obviously I've only got two backpack clips so it was in a, a little waste bag which I've been carrying which is actually quite handy uh, I've got so that just being able to put that straight on this pole that I've got which is a, a Ulanzi selfie stick thing with some Niwa feet on the bottom which seems quite sturdy except for the fact it needs to be on reasonably level ground whereas my monopod's got a little ball joint at the bottom so you can put it on slopes that are not quite level. I also have this little waist pack because I've got a second lens for my new vlogging camera and that should give you a bit of a clue as to what it is. I was originally thinking of getting a Sony ZV-1 and then was waiting for the ZV-1 II, uh, which underwhelmed me. And then I kind of took some photos with an old RX100 Mark II that I've got and remembered how much I don't like using Sony cameras. <laughs> how they annoy me. So I thought I would get something that's going to work much better with my S5. Keep it in the family. It is a Micro Four Thirds. And let's do the big reveal. I'll switch over to the GoPro. So it is none other than the Panasonic G100. As I said, I thought about a Sony ZV-1 and put it to the side. This 
is small enough it can go on monopods and little selfie sticks it's worked really well today i haven't felt like it was going to fall over at any time but i do need to be mindful about putting it on ground that's reasonably flat and not putting it up too high as well as the 12 to 32 which is a 24 to 64 millimeter equivalent on a full frame I've also got uh, the little 35 to 100 so that's a 70 to 200 millimeter equivalent this like pocketable I just yeah I'm I'm so excited I've been I've got some new lenses as well which you're gonna have to wait until the next video to see what they are but uh, it was actually <laughs> strangely enough more excited about getting this because i think it's going to make a big difference to my vlogging my videos it's going to be so much better than the gopro uh and yeah being able to have the flexibility to do telephoto stuff with it as well it's it's going to be great and then you know if i go traveling uh doing touristy stuff if i'm not doing landscape stuff i generally like to have a smaller camera I was going to take a time lapse with this, but I've talked so long that the sunset colour is all gone. Uh, I did take some photos with this. I also did try just doing a handheld panorama uh, just to get a little bit wider on the sides because the, the clouds were really lovely. Um, I did take some photos as well with my drone. So I'll put both lots up for you now and uh, yeah, we'll see how they turned out. the G100 to say goodbye. I hope uh, you notice a bit of the difference between this and the GoPro of the look. Uh, I have literally only just got it. I was not intending to be having it today. I thought I'd just be having the drone and my GoPro and this arrived about two hours before I set out. So what good timing is that? So because of that, I've had very little chance to actually look through it. The only thing I've done is change the video recording to 4k 30 and the color profile to match the one that i use on my s5 which is the cine d2 profile and that's pretty much it i haven't changed anything else next time which probably at, unfortunately is going to be in two weeks from now i will be out with one of my new lenses and we'll check that out and then the video after that will be out with the other new lens and try that one out so yeah hopefully with one of them i'm gonna get back up to lamington because i haven't been up there for ages and the rainforest is calling me oh this spot down here hins dam is such a beautiful peaceful place i just i just love it uh, if you want to see a little bit more of it where i actually take some some photos um there's a video just there of where i came down and and uh, yeah, i always have a Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.